Greetings everyone, this is uh, Ian. Hope everybody doing good and today I would like to talk about uh, before you install Ubuntu, what do you need to know? Okay, that's um, first of all, what is Ubuntu? Ubuntu is Linux based, actually uh, it's Debian based uh, Linux operating system so you can replace your Windows machine or Mac with Ubuntu uh, look this is what you're looking at is Ubuntu desktop um, and uh, it's a fully functioning uh, operating system and a lot of features uh, you, you this is the desktop and uh, you can launch program by searching it just like Windows 8 for example if I want to do some display settings uh, you can just say screen or display yeah there we go screen display uh, you can change uh, I believe resolution uh, you can ro rotating your screen and you know add more uh, display so this is your choice and uh, basically there are a lot of stuff look at the uh, profile structure it's like a Windows 7, Windows 8, or Vista, because uh, inside of here you have desktop, uh, documents folder, which is my document folder in the Windows, download folder, music, picture, uh, videos. Uh, I believe in the Windows you also have game, for example. So this is where your personal stuff saved, and also by default, uh, Firefox for the internet browser which is uh, a lot of people using Firefox even in Windows and uh, um, also uh, you have this uh, LibreOffice writer and this is spreadsheet this is the PowerPoint uh, you can replace Microsoft Office so basically you replace Word, you replace Excel sheet you replace PowerPoint um, for Windows and the good thing about it is Ubuntu is totally free so you don't have to pay money for license key uh, yeah since if you're Windows user and you know you every time you upgrade system um, from for example Windows XP to Windows 7 you pay 120 to 170 dollars that's depend on if you want, want home edition or professional edition for example and also you pay for Microsoft Office be able to uh, do the word editing spreadsheet or PowerPoint um, Office is more expensive is from hundred to few hundred dollars and the good thing is these are all free and also um, the Ubuntu desktop the good thing about it uh, you see this Ubuntu software center it's more like iPhone app and uh, when you launch it you can search whatever you want and most of them are free for example let's say can I install something I can remote desktop to a Windows machine you can just search remote desktop ah there we go so based on the review of other users you can tell which one is more popular you can see this one is already installed in this Ubuntu desktop and you can use this software to remote desktop a Windows machine and for example I want a media player because I want to watch movie ah VLC media player look five stars a lot of people very familiar with this so basically you can play movie with that DVD no it doesn't matter and even there are more other choices uh, you can see here and you, you have some some of the program you have to pay and uh, if you want to install basically all you need to just click install of course um, I believe it will ask me for uh, the permission there we go the password which is my user account password yeah like uh, if you want to install something on your iPhone same thing you have to type your password before you do the installation you don't want everybody to touch your computer you install everything right 
Okay, I'm not going to do that. And that's the uh, software center. And uh, uh, the, uh, the launch, they don't have um, the manual. The old Ubuntu version used to have like a Windows start button or not really start button, but a drop down menu at the top. But lately versions since I believe 12, uh, after version 12, this is 14.04. .04, and um, you can see that uh, they use this search like uh, Windows 8 quick search is very useful and uh, you just launch whatever the program let's say if you want Word ah, they gave you the LibreOffice Writer option that's great um, let's say if you want create a new user for example just type user ah, there's user account for example very handy and um, so I like to talk about the these are all, all advantages uh, I like talk about downside because this video is supposed to tell you what you need to know before you move from Windows to Ubuntu or from Mac from you to Ubuntu uh, first of all if you have a older computer I'm saying older could be three year plus and uh, old and uh, Ubuntu is very good with support that and so you can check for example from Google Ubuntu 14.04 system requirements and it will give you believe this is the one yeah see uh, one gig has processor and not even two gig of RAM and seven gig of free hard drive space and DVD CD drive or USB port blah 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 I believe any computer that um, older oh even even newer than uh, five years old you should have all this satisfied no problem and most likely also Ubuntu will detect all the drivers by itself if you're familiar with redo the Windows operating system uh, the first thing you after you finish the installation your first time get onto the desktop and something may not working correctly such as video card or audio card you don't have sound so you have the install driver you don't have internet because you don't have network card driver blah 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 um, in Ubuntu you don't have this problem uh, Ubuntu just detect by self but what you should know is not quite because Ubuntu is pretty good with detecting old stuff old hardware but what if you have something new let's say if you have a PC newer with a new wireless PCI card and because your home can't run a network cable so you add the card so your PC can draw your home join your home network well Ubuntu may not be able to detect your wireless so if you have that kind of situation you really have to check maybe Ubuntu are not able to support that then you won't have the internet and then on your on your Ubuntu desktop what's the purpose you switch right uh, that's the first thing you you, you should you should know um, the second thing um, you should know before you switch is uh, Ubuntu is not for everyone it is free but definitely not for everyone because some people for example they purchase a lot of software those software for Windows software are dedicated for Win Windows operating system um, could be games for example could be your tax software like uh, simply accounting that, uh, that's accounting software sorry like uh, QuickBook these are accounting software and uh, uh, some tax return software I don't know the, the name of them but those are 
dedicate for Windows operating system. But once you switch to Ubuntu, most likely you cannot use them. And uh, yeah, there is a way. There is a software called Wine. You can run in Windows software uh, on the, 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 the Ubuntu system. But uh, well, you have to be very techy uh, before you can do that. And it's not always working 100%, right? So that's the downside. Uh, you should know before you decide should I switch. So who should who should who can easily switch to Ubuntu desktop? If you're a user, I'm saying um, I don't play game. Uh, could be play some kind of very simple online game. Um, and I'm mainly I use my computer. Uh, because I want browse internet, uh, checking emails, or doing some basic word editing, uh, su such as like uh, you can use Word, spreadsheet, PowerPoint, and those things uh, are your, are if you're 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 doing with your computer, I think y you're okay, and you don't have any software you that dedicated for Windows, and uh, this is good. And you can easily switch to Ubuntu, no problem. And uh, also, um, there are a lot of things uh, you can search in this Ubuntu Software Center, such as if uh, I like the Windows game, the Mai, the classic game. Oh, they have a substitution. So basically, it just like the Windows Classic game, and it's like it, it's called K Mines, and um, you can see even if you search game, there's a lot of free games you can do, and this is much better than Windows because those are free. Of course, not like hot core game, but uh, still. Ah, uh, oh, see. Even some very popular game these days you still can play, like a Minecraft. But oh, the downside you have to buy, pay three dollars for the uh, client, the game client, and a um, lot of things you can just install. And you also remove software from here, so uh, you don't have to run from combine if you're not geek. And after years of using Ubuntu. You can become more skillful, and uh, you can do cool things. You can set up your Ubuntu as a web server, email server, uh, FTP server, if you want. Well, of course, not recommended using Ubuntu desktop. There's Ubuntu server version you can switch, and um, so yeah, this is what you need to know before. Uh, you switch to Ubuntu. Hopefully this is helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.